So I have the boat out of the water now and time to start some of the modifications that I wanted to, uh, to do. So this part of the bow, as I mentioned in my other videos, is just too sharp. I get massive amounts of weeds bundling right here, between here and here. So I need to have a good uh, angle uh, to the bow. And so what I'll have to do is modify the bow, put more curvature uh, on the bottom. And I do have enough room for that because the original uh, bow stem started down about here. And then I, a couple years ago, I added this other section on thinking I could improve it. And uh, it, uh, it helped in some ways, but hindered in the others. So I'm going to cut that piece back off, but then I'm going to have to add some more curvature to the bow. So probably add another uh, four to six inches, potentially, uh, just because the weeds can mass at about this point when I'm cutting through the water. Um, I've already started on the other side. Just, I'll just show you that. So I've got the initial section cut off and now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I still have some rounding to do here. And then uh, I will need to, as I add the new section on, I'll need to add some sort of taper to this section uh, just to get it to taper in a little bit better. So now I'm into this modification and uh, nothing I can do now because I've already cut <laughs> the bow off. So now I've got to finish it. So both bows are uh, cut and sanded the bottom part. So now I'll uh, start the extension. All right. <clears throat> this is a three quarter inch piece of plywood I've cut and I'm now just getting fitted to the front. So this is going to be my bow extension and I'll uh, do one for the other side. Well, I have the bow extensions uh, just tacked into place. I'm uh, now going to uh, just epoxy them in place. Then the next job will be to uh, add lots of filler, uh, build out the uh, edges and sand it uh, so everything tapers uh, correctly. All right, first layer of filler is on. Let that dry. Then I'll have to add uh, one or two more coats, build that up, and then sand it. So I have the second coat uh, of filler on there and sanded and shaped. So she's taking a it's taking a good shape now. Um, I'm going to have to add a third coat on just to fill in the little gaps. Sand that again and then hopefully it'll be ready for fiberglassing at that point. If not, I might have to do a fourth coat. Uh, you want to build this up so you could get it nice and smooth. Not there yet. So the bows have been glassed and I've just added a fill coat of epoxy resin. I'll build that uh, up past the weave and uh, then do some sanding and then priming. Well I have the bow modifications complete and primed. Uh, the only thing I have to do 
now is uh, lightly sand the prime and and uh, paint it uh, with the top colors and bottom paint but won't be doing that till the springtime because uh, my next step is to raise the boat up and start doing modifications to uh, lengthen the hull by uh, two feet. All right, I have my marine plywood. This is uh, four by eight, uh, six mil, uh, Okum, I think that's how you pronounce it, Okum uh, plywood. And uh, I have it laid out for my first piece to be cut out. And uh, I have a little bit of damage on the uh, plywood. I'm gonna have to just repair that, but that's okay. Uh, that'll go on the inside. Anyways, my intention is to extend the hulls by two feet. So from 18 foot to 20 foot. Uh, hopefully that will uh, work out right and uh, uh, will increase the, perform increase the uh, performance. That's what I'm looking um, for. Okay, I've got tacked together the uh, first two pieces uh, for the one hull and I have them at the appropriate angle. Um, I just have the end transom just clamped in place just for the angle and at the other end I have another little um, piece I made that uh, traces the bottom of the uh, hull at the six foot uh, mark coming in. Uh, so this piece is eight feet long and I'll do the second piece uh, tomorrow. Then flip this over, uh, put some uh, resin and filler in the center, smooth it out. Then it should be ready for glassing like inside and out. Um, this is my transom frame. So I have the transom at a 10 degree angle coming down and this frame will attach to the uh, back of the existing hulls. That's the plan. Well, here is one of the eight foot long uh, pontoon uh, extensions. And uh, so this will start at um, oh, kind of like the mid point or, or not the midpoint, but the uh, six foot back point um, of the existing pontoon and uh, extend right from there out through the back two feet. The second one is up against the wall, completely done. So this is uh, six ounces of, of glass over top. And inside, and here's the inside. So it's filled up through the trough and uh, then six ounces of glass. And so both of them are complete. The two end transoms. Here's one. And let's see if I can set this up. And the other. So here's, here's the uh, one end transom just uh, sitting there. I still have to coat the inside with epoxy resin, but 
Right now it's too cold to be doing that. So there's not too much more I could do until the springtime. And uh, this should extend uh, nicely underneath the boat, um, give it more buoyancy and hopefully a little better performance. That's what I'm going for. If I could just get a little better performance out of the boat and uh, have it cruise at about a, oh, an extra kilometer an hour cruising speed, I'll be happy. And this is all till the spring.